1999, because of the pressure from the movement and uh, the civil society who are supporting us, in, uh, sometimes they facilitate for transport, sometimes they facilitate for venues, for meetings, because we also organized for, for, con for conferences, for big meetings where people come and uh, share the experiences where the, and we are able to gather the information. Somebody would come and say, I'm from such and such a village. Uh, the village was set fire on, on such and such a day and we were able to assist and, and uh, now they are still issuing some threats. So we were able to get the information. And then from there, because of that pressure, the government uh, realized that there was a need for fund reforms in 1999. So they formed the Junjo Commission, which was uh, uh, doing the inquiry on land allocation, land distribution. So they went around and collected the views from the people, which uh, helped them, the government to understand how complex is land in Kenya. Because uh, you, when you come to Kibera, you find the area chief has given land, the council has given, the youths are given, the, 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 the village elders, they give land. So it was a, a complicated issue, and the land is a fundamental right. So when you go to Mbakazi, you find the MP is giving land, he's called himself a, a commission of land. So you, when you go to other areas, you find a youth group is controlling land. So that is when now the government came to realize that there is need for 400 reforms because of the recommendation which was given by the commission. And then from there, they also formed the Ndong Commission, which was inquiring on uh, the, 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 the public land, the legal allocation of public land. And the Ndong report, when it came out, it found that most of the public land, uh, the urban spaces, uh, health centers, land, road reserves, so many areas have been grabbed. Which, which was for, for for community use, sometimes this is school land. So they recommended the revocation of all those titles, but very few were revocated. In, uh, in also in 2000, also we had the Guy Commission. The Guy Commission was looking about the reform of the constitution of Kenya. And now in that uh, process, also the land was one of the issues in the, the in the constitution. So we managed also to give views to the High Commission about land. In 2002, also we had some exchanges. In 1997, we managed to get an exchange from South Africa. A group of people from South Africa, they came and shared with us the way they they have been working uh, with the government, doing a housing project. There was a group known as Homeless in the, uh, South Africa Homeless People's Homeless in the, uh, Federation. And they were working with the People's Dialogue. So they used to bring people together, they do savings, they get subsidies and do houses, and also the government was doing housing. So we went there and uh, I learned a lot from them. We went a group of six people from different informal settlements. So we were able to uh, gather some skills from South Africa. And also in 1998, we went to Zimbabwe and also shared with people from Zimbabwe. In 2000, we also went to Namibia, Habitat Humanity, for Humanity, where they were doing housing projects. So we, was, we were also able to see how the government is helping people. We also came now using the same ideas, pushing the government. Why are you doing this and yet other countries are doing this? So we were able to engage the government and they, in, in, as, from 19, as from 2001, we started negotiating with the city council of Nairobi. And in 2000, we started organizing our people. As, as from 2000, before 2001, we started organizing our people to, to form groups. So that now you can be able to to demand for your rights. You cannot be going to the office without people who are organized. So we started mobilizing people to come together. If it is in Kibera, we have a group of people from Kibera who are working together towards, uh, towards their, 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 their rights. So maybe it's a land issue. They want to protect the land or they want to do housing. 
So we started demanding for that and uh, told people, if you want to engage the government, you cannot go to the office of the government and just say you want land. You, you will be asked where is that land, how much do you have? So we said we must have some money and also do some research. Side that when you go there, we are, we are supposed to say we are 50 people or we are 200 people. We have been there for 20 years. We do these businesses, we have houses, we have good dreams. This is our, what we are doing, and we like to be allocated this land. And then from there, the government may say this land is not possible for you to be allocated because it is for future plans. Maybe it's a school land, maybe it's a road reserve, and then from there, you can start engaging. So now the, 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 there was a reduction of evictions. Now there was, it was not too much. There was this negotiation now because we were, we were able to, to tell people that before you are evicted, that title you must scrutinize that title. Because some of the titles are not genuine titles. So now people had information and so even those people who are grabbing around it, now they were not doing the same way they were doing because they knew people are now with the information. Before you do it, you must have gone to court. So as from 2002, during the first World Urban Forum, we, we, we participated in the first World Urban Forum and we had so many people from other countries. At that time we had people from Homeless International, people from uh, SDI, the NGOs from other countries. So the SDI group was facilitating the other people from other countries who are doing the same work from the community people, they have groups. So we had a big group in Nairobi. We went to UN, the all of the week sharing about the Warab and Forum, the issue of slums. The other countries were sharing how they have done housing, how the government has given subsidies, how World Bank has given money, how UN Habitat has supported other countries. And then that day, the president also said he welcomes that idea and he would like those people who can support the, the upgrading of slums. He's ready to, to allocate some of the land within the slums. So that's why now we, we were able now to, to start in Kibera because the UN Habitat was now in charge of Kibera uh, when it started. So now, from that time, uh, we were able now to, to spread the federation all over the, the country. We were able to go to Mombasa, we were able to go to Nakuru, we were able to go to Kisumu, we were able to go to Kakamega, so many regions because of that exposing of the, of the issues and uh, the way the president now has changed and said people should work together and the government is ready to help them so long as people are united and they have they have something what they are doing.